Christmas and welcome to my chaos. Today is October 30th, but I've already watched Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town, so um It's Christmas. I decorated. See, we have some lights over here. Oh no, my AC is coming on. Why? <laughs> um yeah, so we have Christmas lights in the background. I don't know how much you can see over here. We've got some Christmas stuff over here. We've got my lovely little tree up over here and my Christmas village. I also have my lovely Nightmare Before Christmas mug. On one side, we have the sad pair. And on the other side, we have the happy mare. And the hat comes off. Ooh, and there's coffee inside. See the fingertips of Maui on my screen. Gross! <laughs> we don't love to see that. Anyway, so the orb, what was it? The orb of nurturing, the little plant that I planted in front of that um, column, finished growing. And I think the orb is back to normal. Let's go, let's go check it out. Where'd stupid Maui go? Good, good, because I don't want to see him. He can run away. Hi, Moana, my queen. Oh, there he is. Gross. Ugh disgusting. I can't even hear the stupid TV because the stupid AC. Okay, let's go check out our lovely little orb. Also, we have Misty in the background here. Hi, Misty. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Yeah. You know, this is Mummy's water. There we go. She is still feeling well because um, if you missed it, she was sick and there was a whole like chaotic thing going on with her medicine so uh, but yeah she's good she's still feeling well i'm not seeing any signs of sickness so all is well here huh kitty yeah you want to say hi no she's kind of in an awkward spot <laughs> she's a little bit in an awkward spot right now anyway so um yeah look at my raccoon we pet the raccoon um i've noticed that a lot of like flowers grow around this thing which is like super cool I'm into it. I'm here for it. I don't really want to pick them because honestly, I'm here for it. I love it. Uh, is that in, in the water? I love that. I love that for us. Um, but yeah, so that happened. There was like a cut screen with it, but I honestly don't even remember what it was. But I have not talked to Scar, speak of the devil, he's right there. I haven't talked to Scar. I haven't like finished any quests with him. Like nothing, there's like a little cat hair floating in the air. Nothing has progressed any further as far as Scar's quests go because I wanted to save it for on camera. So hopefully nothing's going to happen that's going to take me like days and days and days and days. Like tell me Chernabog is not on that mountain he's there he has to be is the oh yes i love that mm -hmm. i love this i love it so much we love to see it also i designed this dress um while i was waiting my cat's going on my her crinkle mat right now <laughs> i designed this dress while i was waiting for my ac to turn off but yeah you know there's that um, Scar, where'd you go? Oh, he's over by the orb. All right, so let's talk to him, see what happens. Hopefully I can... I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> Hopefully I can finish his stuff today, because, like, yeah, I want to. Ah, I see you've brought life back to my kingdom. You're welcome, Scar. Uh, and not a moment too soon. I'm simply famished. Frankly, I didn't think you'd be able to manage it, even with my guidance. I didn't think so either. I've handled big old problems. Don't underestimate me, Scar. No, we're not gonna be mean to Scar. Well, as long as you listen closely and follow my every instruction, we'll each get what we want. I suppose there's enough room in this valley for both of us, Jamie. Scar, look at you. As long as you remember one thing. The Sunlit Plateau is my kingdom and no one else's. Okay, I'll give that to you. You're like the mayor and I'm like the ultimate queen. Do not forget it. I feel like that's foreshadowing for something. I can't see him at all. <laughs> I feel like that's foreshadowing that something's going to go down. He's gonna be like, um, you can't do anything about it. Too bad, so sad, so it's a wall sculpture. All right, Scar, next thing. Oh, goody, if it isn't our illustrious ruler descending from one high mingle with the commoners. What brings you to my humble abode, or humble abode? Well, it's not your house, but I'm here to help. Do you need anything? How mag magnanimous of you, Jamie. But perhaps you should start by helping yourself. Okay. For someone who's supposed to be the ruler of this valley, you look rather shabby. Um, 
scar. You're literally on my dress. <laughs> like you're literally on my dress. I have Maleficent horns, raven's wings, and like fire on my dress. You're telling me I look shabby. Are the tributes not what they used to be? I could make myself a little more stylish. You don't like my clothes. <laughs> you lack a certain dignity. Your coat is dull and ragged, hardly worthy of a warthog. What? If you want to rule over these lands and deal with me, the king of the Sunlit Plateau, you'll have to address that. Scar, I literally... <laughs> so I need to change my outfit to look a little more regal? What? <laughs> more regal looking than this tell me um okay I'm quivering with Antissa patient I can only assume there's someone around here responsible for making the coverings you wear on your strange furless skin have them make you a coat fit for a leader who's worthy of meeting me I'll ask mother Goth Gothel rather deal with her than Ursula. Not true. I don't think Merlin can sew. Well, she's crafty that way, I guess. That female from the Glade? Suit yourself, Jamie, but be wary. She doesn't claw you in the back. Um, she probably will, honestly. Um, also, I want you to follow me around, because we need to be Biffles, like, stat. I live to please. Also, what do you want for today? What kind of foods do you want? Because I think you only, like, yeah, okay, carp, lancet, fish, Saki Maki? I don't even know what that is. Well, there's a flower. <laughs> Take a flower, finally. Someone appreciates me. Okay, let's talk to him. Why are you looking at me like that? Why don't I ever see you with a wildebeest slung over your shoulder? Because there's not one here. When exactly do you hunt? I don't hunt, that's not something I can do. I don't like wildebeest. <laughs> Then zebra or gazelle. Not a fan of any of those. Sorry. What do you eat? Anything with chocolate. I'm afraid I have no idea what that is. But it does sound intriguing. I love him. I worship him. Why am I suddenly getting a headache? Okay, it went away. No, it's no, it's not. Why? Why? I don't want a headache. It's probably for my jaw, honestly. All right. So let's find Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel! She gonna get me all hooked up with a dress to get any man that I want, AKA my husband, Eric, who like I just every day am hanging out with because um, have you seen him? Have you looked at him? Well, of course I'm hanging out with him. <laughs> I love that she has a big old cauldron. I want a big old cauldron, like a real one. Jamie, and what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? So we have this lion who lives on the Sunlit Plateau, and let me guess, you want to get rid of him before he hunts and eats someone. I have just the thing. Lady, that's not it. Uh, no. I'm trying to convince Scar to talk to me, but he won't unless my coat looks a little more worthy of a ruler. I was hoping you could help me with that. Possibly, but why would you allow this beast to stay in the village? Don't kill Scar, beast. He's a little cutie, look at him. I mean, he's a scary cutie, but he's a cutie. He's a cute little lion. My dear, the quickest solution would be to turn this foolish feline into a coat. Like Hercules did? <laughs> like Hercules did. I feel like she's gonna get along. Oh, it's finally turning off, thank goodness. I feel like she's gonna get along great with Cruella and um, Hercules, I guess, because he also made Scar into a coat, Mother Gothel. That's awful, I can't. Scar might be useful to me, sorry, but I only wear plant-based fabrics. Um. I'm not against wearing leather and using all parts of the animal. Mother Gothel, that's awful. Awful, debatable, practical, most definitely. <sighs> but if you insist on doing it your way and want me to help you make a coat, bring me the materials, Jamie. I need fiber, pieces of fabric, a pair of citrines, and an iron ingot. I just don't have enough iron. Citrines for a coat? Why do you want me to find gemstones? because you put gems 
into a dress. You can embed them into a dress and like embroider them, like have like jewelry, not embroider them, whatever. You have like jewelry right here, like have it sewn in, or you can crush them and make them into crystals. Like get out of here to teach you not to ask stupid questions. Oh, or it's just a payment, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. You should really learn to smile more, Jamie. You always look so gloomy. Don't tell me to smile, lady. I like don't appreciate it. I can't help that I have resting mean face, okay? Now run along and don't come back until you've fetched everything that I asked for. All right, Gothel, take all the things. Luckily I had everything, so that's nice. That's always nice. Love that me and Scar are just like hanging out. Like how cute are we? Ah, there you are, and you have everything I asked for. Even the pair of citrines, those are for my jewelry box. You're a gem, Jamie. Wait, you didn't need the gems for your jewelry? They're just for your jewelry box? She kind of like hinted at that at before. Or she kind of hinted at that before, that they were a payment. Hello, read between the lines. You tricked me, you could have just asked. Oh well, hope you like them. Consider a payment for my services. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> and let that be a lesson to you, Jamie. Nothing is free. I'm fine with that. <laughs> this is not an issue for me. <laughs> now here's your coat. As promised, best of luck with that insufferable animal. Lady, he's literally right there and he's probably gonna eat you. <gasps> Put on the brown, oh my God, shut up. Listen, I didn't even know this was happening. Oh, I can't put my dress on it or wear my dress under it. That's so cool. Honestly, I love that. Honestly, well, hold up, hold up. This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do, okay? We will turn the dress into a shirt, right? Yeah, create. Oh wait, color? Green? It was, didn't I use that color green for the, for the dress? Why is it so much like darker in here? I don't know, whatever, anyway. Villains, give me, why is Scar not here? Is he under animals? What? Where is Scar? Why is he under character? Is he under characters? That's weird. Maleficent's there too. They gotta fix that. They gotta fix it. All right, there we go. Hi, babe. All right. Perfect. Now I'll have my little black skirt. Get the black shorts underneath because otherwise, like, <laughs> it flies up and you can see the weird looking shorts or whatever. Okay, and then my little scar thing here. Perfect. How do I look now, Scar? I love that, honestly. I'm wearing that the rest of the day. <laughs> now see, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Even a warthog could have done it. I suppose I should tell you the reason for my foul mood. It's simple. I'm famished. There's scarcely any prey for me to eat in the village. Oh, Scar, well, when I was back at my house, I got him some fish that he wants. Of course, I did see one of your plump, feathery neighbors about, uh-oh, he wants Donald. <laughs> but I presume you'd mind if I feasted on one of them. Yes, I'd mind a lot, Scar. They're friends, not food. This is not Finding Nemo. Get out. I don't think they taste very good. Yes, I mind a lot. Well, I mind starving, Jamie. A solution must be found quickly. I'm sure we'll find something you could eat fish. What a, okay, let's not tell him what he likes. I'm sure we'll find something. For the sake of your villagers, you'd better. Okay, okay, I think Remy's our best bet. The rat? That's barely an appetizer, but if you've no choice. No, no, I meant we could get Remy to help make you some food. Ugh, I remember the nauseating meals he made be back before the forgetting. I hope for his sake he's improved. Okay, Scar, Scar, we are literally best friends. <laughs> he's like over here roasting Remy like he's not all that and I will eat him. Um, yeah, we're best friends. I hope for his sake he's improved. I'm not above eating a rodent if I have to. 
I'll go talk to Remy. You just stay here and don't eat anybody. No, he's literally coming with me. <laughs> he's literally hanging out with me. He's going nowhere. All right, let's go ahead and feed Scar before I go to Remy. That way he doesn't, I don't know, eat me. Here, I have something to give you. So I have the little fishies that he wants. I also uh, found the recipe for this on the internet. It looked like maybe it's something, like a recipe that he gives you later on, but um, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, I'm trying to be friends with him. Like right now, I have something to give you. Take, no, you're the last, the last one he wants. We'll do the carp, yes, level six. Level six, because I want to do all the quests today. So we want to get to level 10 today. Finally, someone appreciate, appreciates me, Scar. I like super appreciate you. Oh, what is that? Is that a is that a decal or a picture frame? Like a wall art? I don't know. It didn't tell me, so that's fine. Descending from on high to mingle with the commoners. I like the way he speaks. All right, take the anglerfish. Finally, someone appreciates me. always. I always appreciate you, Scar. All right, let's go talk to stupid Remy. Honestly, you can eat him if you want to. Yes, thank you, AC. Thank you, AC. Hi, little squirrel. Take an apple. Here you go. Still haven't seen my squirrel friend from outside in a while. Hoping that, I, yeah, I haven't seen the squirrels, honestly, since the cat came like back like they came back that morning were calling and playing outside or they were playing around outside and then the cat came and then they were calling that there was a predator and then I haven't really seen them since so that's fun in his big stupid house literally the biggest house in the town and he's the smallest one in the town. Just greedy, just so greedy. I'm surprised he's not yelling at me. Can I get a little help here? Oh no, I am not feeding him. Scar, eat him. Ugh. Remy, just know I'm throwing you, let's see, what, what kind of food am I feeding him? I'm feeding you crackers that have like jelly in, well that, that probably would be pretty delicious actually. I'm feeding you crackers that have um, toothpaste in it and orange juice. It's made out of toothpaste and orange juice. That's what I'm feeding him. Friends aren't food. Oh hey there Jamie, great to see you. I hope you're here for some food because I have some fabulous things on the menu. Do you actually? Wait, that coat you're wearing. Yeah, isn't it fabulous? It reminds me of something. Kind of reminds me of my villain's jacket. Someone. Oh. Oh no. You want me to cook for Scar? The harshest food critic in the entire valley? Aw, oh, does that give you anxiety, Remy? Does that make you scared? Is little Remy, Remy, Rem, Rem scared? Poor thing. I know it's a challenge. You'd never let someone go hungry. He's so hungry that the rest of the villagers look like food to him. Yeah, let's scare him. Ooh. Which means I'm on the menu. Yes, yes you are. Well, let's do what we can to avoid that. You're gonna have to help me by preparing the main course. I'm thinking fresh sush sushi. It's best when it's just been made. I'll handle the dessert. You still owe me like an eclair or something. Here are the recipes to prepare. It's probably that recipe that I literally just made. <laughs> there it is. Oopsie. Kitty. Well, I know how to make it, so that's a plus. And then what's this? Tekamaki. I have no idea if I'm saying these right, so. Okay, what is that? Tuna, soybean, seaweed, rice. I'm gonna run out of seaweed, jeez. All right, well, let's go make it then. I'm like, why is he purple? Oh yeah, because I still haven't done like any of Remy's challenges. <laughs> I haven't done like any of them. Literally completed all of Maui's quests before I completed Remy's. <laughs> all right, stupid Remy. Bonjour. Friends aren't food. Take the sushi. Get it away from me. I don't need fish near me. I'm so good. 
You've outdone yourself again, Jamie. This looks good enough to be served in any fine dining restaurant. While you were busy with the main course, I made a coconut cake, so I'm pretty certain will that I'm pretty certain will leave Scar too full to eat anybody. He's a carnivore, you dum dum. You big old dodo. He doesn't want a coconut cake. Look at him. I'll take the coconut cake. I love coconut. Let's go give it to him. Safety in numbers, right? It's because he knows he'd eat me before he'd eat him. Yeah, no, we don't. Follow Remy as he gives Scar his food. Does this happen inside? Jamie told me you were hungry, so we whipped something up that I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy. Look at Scar. Eat him, Scar. Eat him! Do I get the recipe for that coconut cake? Sushi made fresh today and a coconut cake. Let me see. This cake, you called it. Dry, flavorless, and sorely lacking in zebra or gazelle. I told you! Get out of my sight. Yeah! Tell him, Scar! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love it. But the fish is acceptable. The preparation is far more interesting than the flopping carp I've been given before. I'm appeased for now. Yes. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Yeah, you're welcome, Remy. Because of me, you're not getting eaten. You're welcome. Talk to Scar. It's okay, Scar. I understand you. Well, Jamie, your neighbors have earned a respite for my carnivorous appetite. You should consider being nice to people. Um. See, I wouldn't say any of this. They could become your friends. No, maybe he doesn't want friends. They'd be nicer to you. I mean, I guess. I'm not gonna encourage manipulating people. I, I'll just say that one. I don't want nice. I want obedience and respect. I know, Scar, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't do the whole like manipulating people thing. Jamie, I have a little matter to discuss with you regarding my territory. J do join me. Okay. Tell me, have you taken time from your oh so busy schedule to explore the sunlit plateau? Wait, what am I saying? You never stray from the safe and familiar. Honestly, you're right. Well, if you had bothered, you know that it's absolutely littered with wildebeest bones. <gasps> yes, please. Can't you remove them yourself? What happened to the wildebeest? He ate them. Scar, did you eat all the wildebeest? If I were gorging myself on wildebeest, do you really think I'd need to ask that rodent to procure food for me? There have never been wildebeest on Sunlet Plateau, but there have always been bones. Weird. Somehow they simply appear from time to time. On my honor. I believe you, Scar. Hmm, that's weird, but I guess a lot of things about Dreamlight Valley are pretty weird. It wasn't such a problem before you decided to go away. You were very good at digging out the bones and removing them. Of course, your royal shovel was sharper back then. I seem to recall it had something to do with that bombastic Scrooge McDuck. He had some manner of making your shovel stronger. Sounds good. I'll go talk to Mr. McDuck about making my shovel stronger so we can clean up the sunlit plateau. I'll help you clean up your kingdom, Scar. Let's go break these bones. Aye, hello. Breaking bones. Greetings, Jamie. Looking for your next investment? Well, I have new deals every day. Actually, I need your help. The Sunlit Plateau is littered with wildebeest bones. Ah, and Scar asks you to fix it, fix it for him. Typical, I don't care, I don't mind. You know, if you keep doing every this and that for him, he'll never learn. You're helping me, not him. Ah, I suppose you're right. You're doing a favor for the village and my business will profit greatly to the new products from the Sunlit Plateau. But Scar needs to learn not to ruin everything and expect someone else to come and solve his problems for him. He's a lion, what's he gonna do? He doesn't have opposable thumbs. Why is everybody gaslighting poor Scar? Scar, I feel like you're the most misunderstood character here. Honestly, like really you are. 
Here, this mold ought to take make your shovel strong enough to clear out the bones. I'm like, mold? Oh, that kind of mold. <laughs> Wait, how does this work? Do I need something else to put in it? Yeah, you need to melt metal. Hopefully gold and not iron. Please be gold. Please be gold. Aye, that you will, but I'm not in the shovel fix and business. Maybe Scar can help you with the rest. Well, I mean, gold is in the sunlit plateau, so I feel like it'd make the most sense. You're back. Does that mean I'm finally free to roam the full expanse of my kingdom? Ahem. I mean, your valley, of course. Scar, the Sunlit Plateau is your kingdom. Or do you have more tedious questions? I hit a little bump in the road. I have the mold, but I don't know what to do with it. Ugh. I'm surrounded by fools. Honestly, it's not me. It's her. <laughs> I know what to do with it. Do my paws look like they're made for such things? See? That's what I said! I... Uh, <laughs> I got you, Scar. I understand. <sighs> Though I do remember something. Back before the forgetting, you used to gather dry wood and craft things you called... No, not the iron! Ugh. Oh, and of course, there's a little matter of the lion's claws that you added to the mixture. Before you abandoned us and everyone had to flee back to their realm, some lions used to roam the plateau and climb the cliffs. Occasionally, we'd break our claws on the rocks. You'll have to search near the cliffs on the sunlit plateau. Okay. <sighs> okay, so lion's claws buried near the cliffs and five iron ingots. I think I might have just enough iron just enough or maybe i'm one short i might be one i might be one ingot short all right so i did some mining in the forest of allure just to get some extra iron just in case but now we are in the sunlit plateau and we are dig 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 in is this a lion's paw or a lion's claw yes one a oh oh my bad Oh, right. Scar's my little digger. I keep forgetting. Three. Four. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not one. Come on. Can I get two more without, like, dying? Please? Wow. That took a while. <laughs> That took a while. Okay, so now let's go back to our house. I did have to eat one little apple, but like, whatever, who cares? Come on, Scar. Hi, Moana. We're, we're off our break now. I feel better. I feel better. I just needed some space from her for a little while, but we're back to normal now. Okay. Lion's Claw Shovel Head. Improve the shovel by using the new Lion's Claw Shovel Head. I'm just gonna go outside. I'm like paranoid after the whole Moana thing. <laughs> I am forever paranoid after the stupid leadership shards with Moana. No, AC, go away! I mean, just the sound of it, not the actual AC. <laughs> I appreciate what you do, I just don't like that it's noisy. <laughs> Does it look any different? I forgot to do it before and after. Look at Vicky sitting on the evil throne. Look at you! You're such a cutie! Yeah, join the villains. Okay, so I think it did change, right? Yeah, the tip didn't look like that before. Remove the small wildebeest bones littering the sunlit plateau. Okay, I'm here. I'm here for it. I can't wait to get the big ones that I don't have to like fly over to the other side. Ooh, one. Ooh, what comes out of it? Oh, clay. Oops, two, three, can I get this one? No, but the big one, okay. Four, look at us, Scar, cleaning your kingdom. It already looks more beautiful in here. Ugh, I'm surrounded by fools. I know you are, it's okay. I'm sorry, are you calling me a fool? It takes a fool to know a fool. Um, 
he's clearly calling you a fool. I'm sorry? To be fair, you're only half a fool, Jamie. After all, you did half the job. You're right. You've managed to get rid of the smallest bones, but the largest ones are still there, cleaving the sunlit plateau in two. I suppose it'll have to do. For now. But it won't, or I won't be satisfied ruling only, ugh, but I won't be satisfied ruling over only half my kingdom for long. Okay, let's go to the next part. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Do you have to be level seven? Quest is locked, scar, level seven. Okay, let's just give him a whole bunch of flowers. I have something to give you. There we go. Perfect. An acceptable tribute, I approve. Here we go. Ah, Jamie, there you are. If you're still interested in helping me get my, ahem, <clears throat> our old her territory back, I found a solution. I have time right now. Well then, not long ago, you removed some of the wildebeest bones littering the plateau, but you only managed to get rid of the smallest of them, which was of very little help. I agree. Now I've come up with the key to removing all of them. You'll have to speak with that female from the Glade of Trust. Mother Gothel? Why? She knows something. She used to be able to pass through the bones back before the forgetting. Actually, I do want to know what happened between you two. She refuses to speak to me because of one regrettable mistake. You'd think it was the first time she was stalked by a lion. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Mother Gothel, where are you at? She's still in her house. She a homebody. She like me. <laughs> she a homebody like me. She just wants to be up in her tower all day long. Not talk to anyone. I get it. I get it. I do. Oh, someone's looking for some motherly advice. How can I help you, dear? Actually, Scar and I are trying to... Ugh, don't tell me you're still associating with that creature. Yeah, we're kind of best friends. My advice is to exile him from the valley immediately. He's not Kovu. Okay, get right. Do you know that he tried to hunt me down like some sort of prey? Before the forgetting, I was gathering herbs and I felt something following me, something with hungry intent. He pretended it was all a big mistake, but I knew that was a lie. He was looking for brunch and decided I was it. You'd be helping me, not Scar. I'm trying to open up the other side of the sunlit plateau. There is a wall of wildebeest bones blocking the bridge. Oh yes, I believe I have the answer you seek. Listen closely to get a little story. Or listen closely to a little story. Long ago, there was a young, beautiful, and brilliant woman. The woman was me, of course, I assumed. This young, brilliant, and beautiful woman studied the lions and learned about something called the circle of life. And it moves us up. For them, there is an order to the world. And every living creature takes part in it. The lions eat the wildebeests, but when the lions die, they become the very grass that the wildebeests eat. Some would call it poetic. Well, once I learned of the circle of life, I realized there must be power in it. So I pursued Merlin's library and found a recipe for a potion. You must brew the same potion and apply it to your royal shovel to dispatch those bones. Got it. Find the ingredients, brew the potion, save the day. But what do I need for the potion? Don't you need to find the book? Oh, just the typical things. Okay, whatever. Some purified night shards to give it a spark of magic. And some old bones. The more ancient and crumpling, the better. Uh, where am I supposed to find that? Well, there are fossils, ooh, deep in the mines beneath the sunlit plateau. Those should do nicely. Sweet. Those mines are huge. I'll be looking forever. Um, stop complaining. I'm thrilled. Oh, I'll help with that, dear, if you can follow some simple directions. When you walk into the mines, take a left. Oh, boy. Screenshot this. <laughs> Screenshot this. I won't remember that. Okay. There we go. When you walk into the mines, take a left, walk for a bit, take the first right you see, then take another left. Left, right, left, left, right, left. Okay, 
I think I've got that. Now, once you have the old bones, you'll have to find a way to turn them into ashes. We've done that before. Scar should know a way to do that. He seems to be rather fond of destruction. I love him. Okay, I'll go find some old bones in the mines, get some purified night shards and talk to Scar no, bleh, purified night shards and talk to Scar to figure out how to turn it all into a potion. Okay, come on, Scar. Into the mines we go. It's time for an adventure! Okay, let's get this pretty little rock first, because I don't know what those blue things are, but I'm probably going to need a lot of them in the future, so um, collecting them sounds like a great plan. So, Mother Gothel said, hold up, do we see any Easter eggs that I, like, missed before? What are those things? I don't know what those are. All right, so left... Oop, yep, get this. Is that a sapphire? <gasps> shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yes! Okay, so left, right, left. What? It was left, right, left, right? Oh, I didn't even get to see it. <laughs> I didn't even get to see it. Oh no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna talk to Scar outside because we learned the hard way. Digging up bones, digging up bones, bones. I'm resurrecting memories from a love that's, it's not dead and gone. I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna say dead and gone. I'm resurrecting memories from a love that's dead and gone. But tonight I'm sitting alone, digging up bones. Digging up bones. Digging up bones, bones. A pile of old bones, Jamie? Don't tell me she's trying to frighten me with these. Oh, Scar, I know you wouldn't get frightened by that. Mother Gothel says I need to turn these into ashes, and then she said a bunch of stuff about the circle of life. She also said that you tried to turn her into a three-course meal once. What does that have to do with the story? Oh, that again? Bah! I wasn't hunting her. I was merely patrolling the sunlit plateau to ensure the safety of the whole village. Shh. Sure. Oh, goody, then you'll believe what I have to say next. I saw her burying something in the ground before scurrying away. Naturally, I was worried for the safety of the village, so I decided to investigate. A mysterious flower grew where I'd seen her digging. It wasn't long before she came back, so I pounced. She was planting a flower? That's strange. Is it really, though? Is it really strange? Yes, and she was looking through some item she pilfered from the wind bag with the pointy blue head. <laughs> oh no. She buried the ashes from old bones. Was that a coincidence? <laughs> that can't be a coincidence. She buried the ashes from old bones and a flower grew there. This is what she meant by the circle of life. The old bones grew into a flower, literally. Oh dear, you're starting to babble like my brother's unhinged mandrill. We've only got one problem. How do we turn these bones into ash? Yes, well, I may have a solution. There's a volcanic geyser inside my cave. Put the bones in there. The, the heat and pressure should do the trick. Then I suppose you'll have to gather the ashes and bury them. That's all? Sounds pretty simple. Don't forget to water the flower or it will never grow. How long is it going to take for it to grow? So this literally just picked up as or grew as a coincidence. That's so funny. Scar, this is our flower. This is me and Scar's flower. Okay, so place the old bones in the volcanic geyser in Scar's cave. Love the evil music. I thought it would just pick up automatically. <laughs> My bad. Plant the ashes anywhere on the sunlit plateau. We'll plant them right next to my little pumpkins. Please go grow automatically, please. Scar, don't step on it. Come on, let's go over this way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
please. What do you mean by care for the flower of bones? What do you mean? What do you mean? This should take less than an hour. Well, I guess in the meantime, I'm gonna try to level up with Scar to level 10 and I will be back once this is, is it dying again? Why does it look like it's dying? Okay, well, like I was saying, I'm going to try to level up with Scar off screen so that we can get him to level 10 so we can finish all his stuff hopefully today. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, that literally took like five minutes, but also I kept like making the little animation where it looked like it was dying. So I don't know if that like slows and speeds it. Like, I don't know if you water it more, it speeds it up versus if you leave it, it'll just take longer for it to grow if you're not standing by it and watering it. Cause like literally took like five minutes and everybody's saying within the hour. So I, I, I don't know, I don't know, but here it is. A few minutes later, like barely got, I literally went to the bathroom and um, hit some rocks and collected some flowers like right up in here and then I okay, turned around and it was ready. So I don't, I don't know. All right, so craft the roaring shovel head. All right, let me sell some of this stuff first. Um, hello? Um, well, <laughs> oh, lounge, so that must be my bed, open storage, use, oh, that must be my crafting bench. <laughs> okay. I'm like trying to find my way out. I don't know how to get out. Enter. No, I have to get out. <laughs> Change? What's that? What? Okay, I need to get out. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. That was weird. <laughs> All right, Scar is right up here at least. Come on, Scar, back with me. Yes, there is a reason I'm bothering you. I need you. All right, so anyway, <laughs> back to this. Use. Oh, I still forgot to do it before and after. I don't think there's a difference. Honestly, it looks shinier, but it could be the lighting. Yeah, I think it was the lighting. I don't know, whatever. Remove the wildebeest bones blocking the wooden bridge. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, finally! This is so annoying. I hate this. I Like, I'd rather have a whole area, like a, a whole biome blocked off by something like this than, like, have to travel around like that, like what they did with Dazzle Beach. Annoying. I'd rather have the whole place locked off, un inaccessible, completely inaccessible, than have it be accessible and I have to go all the way around to get to it. Like, honestly, it irritates me more. <laughs> just being honest. I'm just being honest. Like, block it off in all ways. Yeah. All right, Scar. Finally, the sunlit plateau is whole again. I suppose I should thank you, Jamie. You were helpful after all. Now, there's one last thing I need to make my kingdom whole again. I'll do whatever I can take, or I'll do whatever I can to help. You better be doing all of this for the good of the valley. You're not plotting against me, are you? No, shut up. 
I'll let you know when I'm in need of your aid again. I have to be level 10, don't I? All right, well, <laughs> oopsie. I'm going to prepare lunch and eat lunch and level up with Scar to level 10. <laughs> Somehow, magically, in like, I don't know. I'll just give him like a whole bunch of food and whatever. I'm gonna level up with Scar and I'll be back. Okay, I'm hoping that after I harvest all this cotton, Scar will level up no, not yet. Hello? There we go. I want to be Biffles with you. Take a thousand flowers until we level up. Yes! We did it! I knew we would, and look who made it back with us. I better find him before security does. Thanks for everything! Ah, Jamie, you were so instrumental in making the Sunlit Plateau whole again that I really must thank you. Let's share a meal together in my den. Ruler and ruler. Okay! What can I say? I'm just full of surprises. There is, however, the small matter of food. I took the liberty of asking the rodent to provide us with meals fit for the occasion. He gave me these odd things. Here. Recipes for teriyaki salmon and gooseberry pie. Remy. Remy, Scar does not want gooseberry pie. I'll take the gooseberry pie. It's like Snow White. I'm looking forward to this. It seems a little suspicious, Scar. This better not be the same kind of scheme. Ugh. Oh, believe me, Jamie, you couldn't be awaiting it any more eagerly than I. <laughs> he must have something very special planned. Snow White's gooseberry pie. She must be coming. She ha I mean, they have to have the evil queen at the very least, right? Right? Well, first of all, they have to have all the princesses. All of them. There's no, no exceptions. Also, the evil queen. Come on. You can't just not have the evil queen. And then, I don't know about the seven dwarves. I feel like there's just too many of them for them to, like, move in. But they have to be in the game somehow, like probably just in their dens or something. Not in their dens. <laughs> in their realm. They probably stay in the realm. They probably don't move in. Oh, I thought I needed like a lot more lettuce. Well, whatever. Okay, let's read these recipes. Teriyaki salmon. Scar will love it, I'm sure. <gasps> All right, Scar, where did you go? Oh, he's literally right here. Perfect. <gasps> we have to level up. <sighs> Shut up. Are you kidding me? We have to do that all over again? Did I even... Did I even finish my, um... Harvesting my cotton yet? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so irritating. Oh my gosh, take everything. All right, teriyaki salmon for Scar coming right up. Looks like it came out of the can. Gross. And then the lovely, the one, the only gooseberry pie. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Snow White's gooseberry pie. All right, to meet Scar at his cave. Okay, Scar. Give the meals to Scar. Enjoy, Jamie. Ugh, nothing. What? Scar, what'd you try to do? Once again, I'm denied what's mine. It should have worked. Where is it? Uh, what's going on? You still haven't figured it out, have you? I had an ulterior motive for inviting you here. No point in avoiding it now. 
there's a trinket I've been looking for. You hid it from me long ago. Another one of your lessons. I did that? Before you left the first time, you wanted to teach me a lesson. <sighs> you said, good rulers care for everyone. From the tallest to the smallest, they invite everyone to the table. Yeah, see, I probably forgot to invite Maleficent or something. You told me that my stolen trinket would be returned when I understood the meaning of those words. Why do I have to punish... That's... What... Why am I trying to teach him a lesson? That's up for him to learn. And if he doesn't want to learn it, he doesn't want to learn it. That's just like abuse of power. I hoped if we shared a meal, it would break your silly little curse, but I was wrong. I am going to talk to Merlin. He probably helped me cast the enchantment. Maybe he can help me break it. That old windbag does delight in being a know-it-all. Girl, Scar is a grown adult. A grown adult lion, you don't take his stuff to teach him a lesson. You do that to a child. <laughs> not a, you, you're not even in charge of him. Oh my god. That is not it, fam. You're not his mother. You're not his mother. You don't take away his stuff to teach him a lesson. Get out of here. Man. I can see why he's mad. Scar is rightfully mad. I don't blame him. I'd be mad too. What right did I have to do that? Where is Merlin? Oh, here he is. Okay. Oop, there we go. I had no right to do that. Zero. He can be mad at me all he wants. I get it. Don't worry, Scar. I'm sorry. I apologize. Merlin, help me fix my mess. Aw, oh, Jamie, what new magical mystery do you have for me today? Back before the forgetting, I took something away from Scar and hid it with some sort of enchantment, something he could only get back if he learns a lesson. I want to help him. Enchantments and old riddles are your forte. Past Jamie is making life extra hard. Honestly, yeah. Hmm, yes, yeah, sometimes things we did long ago can seem like the deeds of a stranger to us. But I remember what it was you said back when you hid this little trinket. Good rulers care for everyone, from the tallest to the smallest, they invite everyone to the table. Quite inspired, I thought, but then you've always been wise beyond your years. But I had no right to, like, force that onto Scar. Now I am sure you've noticed that Scar is not always the most pleasant of neighbors. I think he's great. He wants to rule, but he doesn't understand the responsibilities and care that come with it. You tried to help him. Um, no, I tried to control him. But then he turned around and tried to eat one of the birds in the Sunlit Plateau. Well, he is a lion. When I said I was inviting others to your table, I meant those birds as guests. I wasn't speaking literally. It could have, I could have been clearer. Were you actually talking about the birds? He's a lion. It's sad, but he's a lion. You wanted Scar to think about his actions. You meant that he should care for everyone from all segments of the circle of life. I suggest you continue leading by example. Put up some sunbird feeders on the plateau. Show him how to care for his kingdom. Maybe that will help where your curse has failed. That would be so cute. Let's hope it works. I'll do whatever it takes. Don't let the sunbird's fragile appearance fool you, Jamie. They have a fascinating yet dangerous life. I'm sure they do when, you know, they're getting preyed on by a lion. Craft the sunbird feeders, two of them. Alrighty then. I'm so annoyed that like this entire game is just gaslighting Scar. They all, everybody is gaslighting Scar. What is happening here? Stop dying on me. Live. Live. Uh, oop. I'm like scooting forward real fast. Here we go. Maui's always all up in my business. Maui, get away. Like, I don't see anybody more than I see you. Granted, you're like ginormous. Oh, she's so irritating. He's so irritating. Okay.
We'll put one on this side. If I can like get over here. Sure, that works. One on this side. Perfect. Return to Scar. Hi, Scar. If you're finished running around doing absolutely everything else but helping me, perhaps we can focus on my problem now. I'm trying to help with your problem. Merlin says you need to learn to care about others to break the spell. Oh, goody. Which fool do I need to help now? The sunbirds on the plateau. I told you that you needed to care for the tallest and the smallest. It doesn't get much smaller or more fragile than those birds. Ugh, I can't believe I have to lower myself to such an indignity. Er, I mean, lead the way. Feed flowers to the sunbirds on the plateau. What if I've already fed one today? Bruh. So if I already fed one, I can't do it again? Oh my. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Is there another one that shows up at 12? Oh my god. No, frankly, I don't. Okay, there's another one coming in literally three minutes. <laughs> 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Thank God. Okay, so then we'll start looking for this green one in a few minutes. All right, I saw it. Where did it go? Here you are. Oh, please stay still. Please, please stay still. Eat the flower. Coco, yummy, Scar. There, it's done. Now let's return to my cave to see if your foolish enchantment has been broken. Okay, but first I want to get the citrine. <laughs> first, the citrine. Must collect the beautiful, lovely gemstones. Oop. All right, Scar. Let's see if it worked. I'm sorry that my former self was cruel to you. Grr, the curse still hasn't been lifted and my prized trinket is nowhere to be found. This was all for nothing. I'm sorry, Scar, we can try something else. We still have fun scheming together. We can try something else. Why bother? It wouldn't change anything. Though I must admit that you've stuck by my side more than I expected. I suppose if there's anyone I could call a friend. <gasps> Scar, <gasps> we're Bivols. Well, it would have to be you. Oh, I'll be your friend, Scar. Wait, what's happening? Scar, I think the enchantment is breaking. Look over there. Over where? Over there. Give the magic mirror shard to Scar. Wait, magic mirror? Magic mirror shard. Mmm, we're gonna have to collect these pieces from the villains, aren't we, until we put it back together. Does that unlock, like, myself, the magic mirror shard from the villains? Will that give me access to, like, my forgotten self. You see, Jamie, I found this little piece of glass in the valley long ago. With it, I can see whatever I want without going anywhere. It's like Beast's Mirror. And it ensures I'm still the most ferocious lion in all the valley. I'm glad you have a bag. It sounds very useful. So what I'm hearing is that you're lazy and insecure. Cruel. 
not as much as I am, I assure you. Here, I wanted to give you this as a token of gratitude. After all, you helped me more than any of those other fools ever did. <gasps> Thank you. I have my whole land to roam, and now I've been reunited with my most valuable tool. Tell me, Mirror, who's the most cunning lion of them all? I love that. Yeah, they're gonna, they have to have Evil Queen. They have to have Evil Queen. So we've completed everything with Scar. <gasps> hmm. Okay. So, this video probably isn't the longest thing. So I'm thinking now, now we go finally find my husband. Oh, my battery's dying. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, fine. Give me one second. All right, so since we finished everything with Scar, I think it's only appropriate that we go find my husband. Where is he? Who's walking behind me? Oh, Anna, that's not my husband. <laughs> that's not my husband. Where is he? Where is my man? probably ran away. <laughs> He's probably like, she's literally calling me her husband. I'm out of here. Where is he? Where's my husband? He's missing. Oh, no, he's there. <laughs> he's in the restaurant with stupid Rem Rem. Stupid Remy. Rude Remy. All right, my darling, come with me. I mean, just look at him. Look at him. Yes, please. Hi, my wife, my darling, my love. Let's hang out. So long. Let me know when you want to go on another expedition. He always says that. They have it mixed up. It's funny. All right, bye, Scar. Have a good day. You're my new best friend. Like, really, though, he's my best friend. He's my best friend in the entire village. Like, Moana who? Who else is my best friend? I don't think I really had a best friend, did I? Look at Eric looking at me. Like, did you see that? Do you see the way he looks at me? Ugh. Ugh. Look at him. I just can't. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. All right, um, anyway, I'm finding him because we also have tasks with him that we need to do. So gather the ingredients for the crystal extract. So he, yeah, something of whatever. So purified night shards and 10, wait, how many purified night shards? Okay, five purified night shards and 10 crystals. I can do that for you, sweetie. Merlin, come to me. Am I taller than him? Why did I never notice that? Do you want to give these items? Yes. Marvelous. Stand back now. Uh-oh. Pick it a spigot a make it a mo. Compass show us where to go. Please don't drop something. Please don't think. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Jeez. All right. There you are. Now Prince Eric can sail on these seas without any trouble. All right, let's take Eric outside before he tries to give me something and then it drops on the floor and then it gets missing and they have to go on a mad goose chase to find it, only for it to be in the frozen valley or whatever frozen heights the entire time, even though I literally like passed it and I tore apart my town when I didn't need to. I should have just looked like, I don't know, a little bit harder than I did. You know that? like that. Merlin enchanted my compass? That's fantastic. With this, I can find the ruins. Of course, I still need a way to dive under the ocean for long enough to look around. Uh-oh. I love diving. Careful, diving can be dangerous. Um, diving is literally my worst nightmare, but, um, is Scar literally still following me around? <laughs> he's like hunting us. Scar, I thought we were best friends. Maybe he's watching me. He's, he's watching me to make sure I get home safe. <laughs> he's watching me to make sure Eric treats me like a perfect gentleman. Don't worry, Scar. He literally bows to me. Like, I think we're fine. Then you're gonna love my idea. <laughs> oh, great. 
great. I need to find a way to walk on the bottom of the ocean and still breathe. Unlike Ariel, I'm not a mer person. What about a diving suit? That would do the trick. I bet Mr. McDuck would know how to make one. I don't know why I did that. Okay, I got some schematics for a dive suit from Scrooge McDuck. Oh, I didn't need to talk to him. We'll need fabric, gold ingots, not iron ingots, Ugh, and some glass. Why do you need, oh, I guess for like a um, scuba helmet and stuff, if that makes sense. And glass, if you find all that, I'll study the plans. How much iron do you need? Like, I'll give you anything. 15, Eric, I don't think I have enough. Ugh. Eric, you're my one true love, truly you are, but you're gonna need to give me a much bigger ring to make up for all the iron ingots you want from me, okay? I demand a bigger ring because I'm just like, I'm surpassing wifey material, right? This is more than wifey material, asking for these iron ingots. This is, this is next level. So you're gonna need to um, step up with the ring and make it really special, okay? Okay. Love you. <laughs> um, well, let's go see how many I have, or at least can make. I can make three. That's not even the right bin. Come on. Oh, all right. Well, I have to go hunt down iron again. I have the rest of it though, right? Wait, I might need more fabric, but I just harvested a bunch of cotton, so hopefully I'm just gonna make sure I have enough fabric. Good thing I planted that cotton. Wait, how do I make it? Isn't it under refined material? What's going on here? I didn't see it there. Just didn't look hard enough. How much did I need? How much can I make? I need more, great. Great. I need 20? Oh my. <sighs> Welp. I'll be back. Woo, I forgot to start recording. Oh, and the AC just went off. Nice. This is amazing, Jamie. You found everything I need. I'll go put the diving suit together and head out on my first expedition. See you when I get back. He better not be leaving. He stuck with me for literally ever. Well, my dive was a big success. I found all kinds of odd and mystical stuff on the sea floor by those ruins. If you're interested, I'll have the blueprints for them at my house. You might be able to use a few things, few to make things for the valley. Sounds great. And hey, now that I found what I was looking for, I won't be needing this diving helmet anymore. I'd love for you to have it. <sighs> I love it. A diving helmet? It's so useful. Just be careful. You should probably leave the searching, you should probably leave searching the bottom of the sea to us professionals, okay? Um, I would say he's trying to like, I don't know, put me down except for, um, I literally tried to do, what was it, like sea tracking or something? It's not quite diving. I mean, it's kind of diving, but like different. I don't know, it, it's more like for simple people. <laughs> for people who don't have diving experience. It's for your like average Joe, right? I tried to do that, couldn't even do it. it. Just, it wasn't. Oh, and Ariel and I also wanted you to have this. We can never thank you enough, Jamie. But maybe this gift we made will give you some idea of how much you mean to us. <gasps> Is it my ring? Oh, I got his ship. Oh, does that mean that I'm finished with him? No more quests for my hu my husband? Oh man. All right, well, I kind of want to see this helmet. Oh my God. I am stunning. <laughs> Stunning! I actually, like, can't. I can't handle it. Can't do it. Eric, do you love me now? Will you marry me now? He so wants to marry me. Here, take a 
Um, just take a flower. <laughs> just take a flower. <laughs> there you go. My one true love. Thanks, Jamie. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Also, I want to see this ship. Is it like huge? Is it fabulous? Oh, it's a miniature boat? Oh. Well, also put it in my house just to remind me of you, my one true love. <laughs> I love this. I love this. This is amazing. <laughs> I love the helmet. It's so, I love that it's gold too. Like, it's like bougie. It's stupid, but bougie, which makes it great. Okay, so like, what are these blueprints? Because I tried to get one one time and it like disappeared. Crafting recipe. Like, I don't get it. Like, what are the recipes that I'm learning? Is it like that or something? nautical themed couch is this it is it the nautical themed couch and that nautical cushion i'm so confused wait what's this ship coffee table when did i get that must be it must be it because i i don't i've never seen that before that looks kind of cool okay well I'm like not 100% certain because like it doesn't tell me what it is. It doesn't tell me what it is in my inventory. It like doesn't show up there. So um, I don't know. Anyway, I am going to end the video here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!